Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the Tune Review for this morning's uh, news show. Uh, I'm joined by Billy, uh, so it's not just me doing this, it's uh, uh, Billy as well. And, uh, well, I mean, listen, this is crazy at the minute, isn't it? It's it's absolutely crazy given what's going on at the moment at the club. Uh, it seems like there's uh, certainly more outgoings than uh, ins. Um, this, uh, it, without a doubt, there is more talk of, of players leaving the club than there is coming in. And, and I'm not sure if it's a, if it's a major worry or if it's just uh, you know part of the cause that uh, we we can't get too sentimental over these players. Um, you know that we'll obviously talk about the trip year issue and uh you know um obviously Javi Mankio is pretty much gone now uh to work with Rafa uh Lascelles of course is subject uh to a bid from Besiktas and and now Joe Linton's contract um it, it's uh, it, it's all happening Billy at the minute yeah never a dull moment even when it's supposed to be a, a winter break and no football going on there's never ever a dull moment with uh, Newcastle United. It's been the same for years and years and years and years. Never been any different as far as I can remember it. Um, whether these rumours are true or not, who knows? I guess in the fullness of time, we'll find out. But until then, I guess we can't say a lot. No. Uh, and I mean, look, it, 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 they are talking points. But again, uh, we're not sitting here saying that uh, such and such is definitely leaving or someone's coming in or anything like that. We're just talking about what, we're hearing, of course, in the uh, in the media, and um, it's it's pretty grim. Uh, if you're a Trippier fan or you're a Lascelles fan or whoever it may be, um, but I want to start with Joe Linton, Billy, because the the Joe Linton story um, to me is is a bit more uh, serious, you know. And and what what I mean by that is, you know, Trippier's thirty three now. Um, you know, we, we we have a ready-made replacement for me in in Livermento anyway. Um, again, without being too sentimental towards Trippier, um, Lascelles. You know, we have cover uh, at centre back in the form of Dummett and Craft, etc., to get us through at the end of the season. So that one doesn't. It's Joe Linton for me, Billy. And of, it was Craig Hope that released the story yesterday about um, about Joe Linton, and it, it seems to have picked up a lot of traction since. Um, Basically, Craig Hope reported yesterday, and I, I know it's again people thinking, "Oh, Craig Hope, he's a he's a he's a doom monger and things like that." But he's he's not going to put anything out there that he hasn't heard, you know. And and uh, you know, for, for me, Craig Hope is a good reporter, um, and he's not frightened to report the, the the bad stuff that may happen. He's not, you know, one of these reporters that will blow flowers and roses up everyone's ass all the time. Um, now, he reported yesterday, Joe Linton could have played his last game for NUFC amid a contract standoff. Uh, surgery next week will be ruling him out for the season. So, of course, that was initially six weeks. Now we know that he won't play again this season because he needs surgery. Um, he's got 18 months left on his deal. So, of course, that runs out at the end of the 24-25 uh, season. Um, no resolution to contract talks because of wages, Billy. So you can understand, in a way, Joe Linton coming in under the Ashley area, uh, era, sorry, and and now you know feels like he's worth more than what, by the looks of things, the club think he's worth. Well, he is worth more than what the club think he's worth. I think he's irreplaceable. There's no yeah. midfielder in this country that can do what Joe Linton does. He's not. There's not not a physical midfielder in this country that can kind of muscle his way through things like Joe Linton can. Um, yeah. Of, I mean, apparently Harvey Barnes are more money than Joe Linton. That's ridiculous. Yeah, However, yeah. I mean, his contract was signed, like you say, under the Ashley era. Um, I think the word in Craig Hope's statement, the word could, is doing a lot of heavy lifting. Yeah. What will happen is there'll be negotiations now between the two parties. There's no way on God's earth Joe Linton doesn't play for us next season. If he wants 200k, we're offering him 140k. Expect the deal to be done in between, I would think. There's no way on God's earth Joe Linton's leaving this club. I mean... It's it is a bit kind of um, it's frightening people. It's fear mongering, and I don't think we need yeah. it at the precise moment. So I don't think Joe Linton's going anywhere. Absolutely not. Well, the, the thing for me about the whole Joe Linton thing is Billy. Uh, you know, he can't start talking to any clubs until you know next January, which is a year away. Yeah, so, and a lot can, a lot can happen in a year. You know, and. Uh, Fair enough, if contract talks have stalled at the moment, that's not to say that contract talks will not continue uh, probably in the summer, you know, when they can actually sit down with Joe and, and, and go through everything properly. And like you say, you know, I'm sure if there's, a, if there's a gap now between the wage demands of Joe Linton and the club, that 
they will come to some sort of resolution because there's no way I cannot see in any stretch of the imagination why Newcastle United uh, would be happy to let Joe Linton certainly talk to other teams from uh, January because there is going to be interest next January if he hasn't signed that new deal. Um, and, you know, like you said, there's no midfielder like him in the Premier League for me. The physicality he offers. Two years ago, had somebody said that he doesn't want to sign a new contract, I would have said, fine, let him go. Um, where he is now, however, is a very, very different story. And what he brings to the, not just the club, Billy, but, um, you know, the, the well, the club. I'm talking about the fans. The fans love him. Uh, you know, what he brings on the pitch is... It's monumental. I mean, it's, it's physical presence. And, and boy, are we going to miss that for the rest of the season. We are indeed, yeah. It's a massive loss to us. Um, and again, I go back to the medical. What were they doing sending him back out for the second half of that game? It's ridiculous that they're actually putting through that. But the medical team or, or the management, whoever it may be, it's one of the two, aren't really managing our players correctly, I don't think, fitness-wise. It's, it's, mm. it's shocking. Um, mm. And maybe this is another reason why Joe Linton wants out. Who knows? Maybe he feels mm. they're a bit responsible for his injury, though, how serious it is. We don't know, do we? I'm, I'm only surmising here, but yeah, he loves the city, he loves the club. Um, there's no doubt about that. He, he puts his heart and soul into his game every week. You know, he puts his body on the line every week. And I think he deserves pain for that. And I think he thinks that also, otherwise we wouldn't be in this dispute, if there is a dispute, of course. Mm. But at this, in the summer, obviously, the finances can be looked at in more close detail. We'll know where we are financially in the summer when sponsorship deals come in, when Champions League money comes in where we know yeah. where we are on the league table, where we finish prize money-wise. So yeah. until then, I don't think any kind of contract talks at this precise moment in time are worthwhile anyway, because they'll all be done in the summer. Well, of course, you look at Fabian Scherer as well, Billy, that, you know, the time it's took to, you know, there was there was no pressure. You know, everything just got done in, in time. Um, and, you know, that uh, we want to know how long Scherer's contract talks went on for. They could have been at a standstill at some point and working out because, you know, although it's only a year extension onto Fabian Share, it, it was very important for Share to obviously uh, get what he thinks he's worth as well as just the club thinking of what he's worth. So, um, you know, the, the Joe Linton thing, it doesn't scare me right now. I think, you know, uh, it, it, I think that the word that Craig Hall came out with is sort of panicked people uh, into thinking, oh, God, you know, we've got sort of all these players now, uh, you, you know, possibly leaving the club. But, what I will say, Billy, is that sentimentality has to go out the window if we want to be an elite football club. And I think a lot of fans have to realise that, that, uh, you know, in the you know the near future, we will lose players that are close to our hearts as fans. But we have to accept that because if we want to be elite, we have to be, we have to act like an elite side. Yeah, obviously. I mean, it's all about improving the squad, improving the, the first 11, isn't it? And if we can find a player that improves Joe Linton's position, then he'll be down pecking order. Yeah. But at the moment in time, how many players in the world or even in the yeah, in the world improve us in Joe Linton's position? I agree. No, no one can do what he does. So in that case, he, he deserves elite pay, I think. I mm. think he does. And I think the most of the vast majority of the fans will think he does as well. Yeah, it's uh it would be a massive, massive, massive blow. Uh, but again, you know, this is what we're dealing with now when we have to be uh, up there with the best. Uh, Frost T. Hammer, thank you very much for your super chat. This is good to have you back, Paul. Hope you got a good rest in. Uh, you can see the difference in you today. Joe Bruno and Botman need new contracts. Um, well, it, thanks very much for that. But it, it wasn't actually my health that I've missed the shows for. Um, well, kind of. Um my daughter Phoebe is going through a really, really tough time at the moment and um, needs a dad uh, more than ever at the moment. So um, I'm, I'm juggling a lot in uh, behind the scenes um, with my uh, with uh, my daughter. So um, uh, Alex and Billy have, uh, have taken the, the mantle for for the main shows on a night time, which has uh, enabled me to uh, to spend some time with us. So that that's. Um, something that I don't know how long that's going to go on for. Um, there will be shows that I can do and there will be shows that I can't in the near future, but um, uh, she she needs me more than ever. 
Um, so if you if you are religious, uh, please pray for my daughter because she's going through a really rough time at the moment and um, needs needs all the love and support she can get. So that's why I've I've been missing some shows and just doing recordings and things like that because I have to fit fit it in around um, Phoebe at the moment uh, because it's been a you know it's a, it's a very stressful time for me as a father as well. Um, so I have to keep battling. Uh, in every way I possibly can. Uh, so the support from everybody means a great deal. Um, but of course, the support that Billy and Alex have shown us by taking over the mantle on the live shows on the night time has been um, absolutely massive uh, for me. Um, and um, I'm probably going through one of the worst things as a parent, I think anybody can go through at the moment when you see your child suffering so badly with mental health, etc. So, um, you know, she is my priority at the moment. And uh uh, everybody is is understanding of that. So um, thank you to Billy and Alex, obviously, and but thank you for all the support out there, guys. It, it, it does mean a lot. Um, it's just a very difficult time for me at the minute. Um, so thank you very much for for that. Anyway, um, we'll move on to Trippier next, Billy, and and, and Trippier. Trippier is a difficult one for me, Billy, because we know he's one of the best fullbacks that we've had at the club ever. Period. Um, and, and we've stated that many, many times. Um, but it, it's it, it's it's it, it's very interesting to me because he's thirty three, and I think that's the main thing everybody's saying he's thirty three. Um, but you know, I, I, I'm interested in where you stand on this as well, Billy, because he's thirty three years old. He's he's done brilliantly since coming in, but we have we do have a ready made replacement. There's no, and for me. Livermento was good enough to take his place already. I have no doubt about that. A lot of people, since these stories have come up about Trippy, have been mentioning that his um, his is you know his mistakes of late, and that maybe his body is is slowing down a little bit, and his 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 head's not in the right place. Obviously, for other reasons. Um, then there's the reason he came to Newcastle was because his family wanted to come back. Then we've se seen stories about well, you know. Eric Dye's family are there now, Harry Kane, so there's an English element to, to, to go on. It's it's crazy, isn't it? I mean, where, where do you stand on Trippio? If you got a decent bid for him, Billy, would you sell him? Yes, 100%. Wow. 100%. Okay. Yeah. It, it, it's, it's, it's not sentimentality that comes into it. You've got... We, we are sort of mini financial fair play wise. If we can get £10 million pounds or £15 million pounds for Kieran Trippier at the age of 33, triple that, then you've got that to spend, one hundred percent. You sell him. Um, however, I don't think he'll want to go personally. Um, but if he does go to Bayern Munich, then he's got people around him that he didn't have in Madrid. When he was in Madrid, he had he was the only Englishman there, wasn't he? There was hardly any English speaking people there, I would imagine. Yeah. But at Bayern Munich, they'll have people around him. However, apparently Bayern Munich only want him for a loan period. So in that case, yeah, I've seen that not. as well. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> There's a, there's a there's a, a lot of different reports going around about you know fees and things like that and then a loan deal obviously. Um, what I don't understand, Billy, is 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 Kimmich is there and and somebody that obviously we spoke about or you guys spoke about in the transfer show earlier this week. It's very strange one for Tuchel to to look at um, to look at getting Trippier in because my thoughts would be that Trippier would if he was to go would want to be first choice. Kimmich plays as a, as a CDM now, though. He plays as a six. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and Trippier would be for, for first choice as a right back, I imagine. I don't know who's playing right back for, for uh, Brian at this moment in time. I think it's a Moroccan lad, if I remember rightly. Right. But, um, yeah. Kieran Trippier, he, you know, set piece and things like that. And Kat, Harry Kane's obviously had a word. You know, he, he'd, he'd want to be on the end of Kieran Trippier's set pieces. Um, it makes sense for for. To, to kind of go in for him, but for a loan period, absolutely not. No, mm. absolutely not. Uh, but again, you know, if it if it is a, a transfer, Billy, um, then again, Kieran Trippier has endeared us uh, to to us the Newcastle fans since he's come yeah. in. Uh, he was the first signing under the new regime. Uh, he came in and took a pay cut. Of course, we all know about the, the circumstances to move to Newcastle. Yeah. Uh, it hasn't been right for a few weeks, let's be honest with Kieran Trippier. Uh, he has started, obviously, the last couple of games, I think, improve. However, you know, there's still something not right there for me, Billy, and I think it's it's, it's obvious to everybody. And, you know, if a decent bid came in, I think 
the wages for me, you know, I know I took a wage cut to come to Newcastle, but he's still on decent wages. So if he, he did leave the club, that would free up more wages again. But I don't think we can... I don't think there's any point for Kieran Trippi to leave, Billy, if that makes sense. I don't think there's any need, certainly for the rest of this season. Um, you know, I, I, we, we kind of need his experience. What's going to be a difficult second after the season to finish as high up the league as we can go? I don't think we can deprive Kieran Trippi of a chance to move to Bayern Munich, if I'm perfectly honest. If they, if they want to buy him and give us the money we want for him, hmm. I think you, you can't deprive him. They're, they're one of the world's great clubs. We're going yeah. to be one of the world's great clubs, but we're not going to be during Kieran Trippi's time with us. It's like Real Madrid. People wanted to go to Real Madrid. You don't you don't stand in the way. And I think Bayern Munich is similar to that. I think Kieran Trippi is on the way down. Even, even against Man City, he had a great game for 90 minutes. Made a horrendous at the, the end. end. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, so yeah. I think, uh, yeah, definitely get rid of it. If, if we're making a profit, though, I don't want... I don't want to get rid of him with, you know, without any financial benefit to us. I mean, how, how much did we sign? We signed him for 12, didn't we? 12, yeah. Um, more than that. Would we get more than that now, though? I don't know. Would we get more than 12 million for trip? Yeah, uh, look, I, I know his experience and his football and brain is probably worth, you know, multi-millions. But like you say, Billy, uh, you, you do get the feeling that he is slowing down a little bit now, 33 years of age. Um I think, for me, if he wants to go to Bayern Munich, Billy, it would be a wage thing and not a, a transfer fee thing. You know, getting them, getting somebody like Trippier off the wage bill, uh, which frees up more wages for the summer, um, could be a big thing for Newcastle United. So, uh, you know, for me, it would be all about the wages and maybe not the fee. I mean, we've got cover there as well. This is the point. Yeah. There's yeah. no significant drop-off between Trippier and Livermento. Some might say there's a drop-off between Livermento and Trippier. Where Trippi's mm. played the past three months, mm. you know he's made mistake after mistake. Three against Everton, uh, you know Chelsea, Manchester City last week. It's not mm. like one one off. It's it's happened on a re, you know an erring regularity, unfortunately. So you, sentimentality's got to come out of it now. Yeah. If we get the right money for him, then I'd sell absolutely. Absolutely. Definitely, de definitely not a loan deal, though. I mean, a, no, a loan, loan deal makes no sense at all. Um, Unless they're paying £10 million pound loan fee, like the, the, the Lingard can't deal with what they want, but that's not going to happen. Well, yeah. Um, guys, thank you so much for all your uh, kind words in the comments uh, for Phoebe. Um, I, I, I will show her that she's got so much support. Thank you so much for that. Um, also, Spike Milligan, I noticed you're in the chat. Uh, I received your package this morning. Um, thank you so much. Spike has sent a huge box full of uh, goodies for giveaways uh, on the show, which we will be doing in the next uh, in the next couple of weeks uh, for members and for viewers as well. We've got loads to give away. Um, just those that are wondering about the <clears throat> all the prizes and stuff for the, just before Christmas shows and stuff like that, they will all be going out very shortly. Um, obviously, with what's uh, going on with uh, with Phoebe, I've had to slow things down quite a lot. Um, so I, I will get them all sent out in due course. So thank you everybody for your understanding. Uh, for the delay and all of that. Um, I really do appreciate it. But Spike, thank you so much um, for sending all of that, mate. I, uh, I didn't know they were coming. It was a lovely surprise this morning um, to open it. And uh, there's also, Billy, uh, a Newcastle United trivia book in there that he sent, uh, which would Ooh. be good for various quizzes as well. So um, mm. uh, so we'll, we'll be doing things. Uh, we'll be testing the hosts, um, a little bit of uh, Friday night quizzes during uh, Face the Lads and things like that. So uh, a lot to look forward to, uh, indeed, with regards to prizes. So that if you're not a mem... Um, I, I'm trying to see closer, Billy, because I can't see the screen there. Um, it looks familiar, but <laughs> it might be, yes, Billy, but, 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 but. Um, it's a long time since we've done any questions from it, it is. isn't it? So it is. uh, people can't remember, and we'll, we'll not be giving them time to uh, to look on the internet or anything uh, because I have been sent some countdown music and stuff that we can play while the question has been asked. So uh, lots to look forward to there. Um, NUFC, thank you very much for your super chat. Uh, do you think there is something in the air around camp since the exit of the Champions League and Cup? Uh, we got to sell and grow, haven't we? I've heard a lot of people saying this, Billy, that you know that they feel like maybe something is going on behind the scenes uh, in the camp with play some players maybe not too happy with what's going on at the club or maybe not too happy at results and things like that. So um, 
it's it for me as I say the trip you won makes no sense for loan um and I think it's quite cheeky of Bayern Munich to try and uh, uh do that if that's that is the case um for a fee I mean do we deny him going to to buy in like you say Billy and maybe um you know a, a swan song for Trippier to win another trophy um something uh, you know that he's obviously keen to do with Newcastle United but as it stands um, that doesn't look like it's going to happen very, very soon. But uh, you never know. You never know in football. Um, now, of course, uh, Jamal the sells Billy as well. Uh, he's linked with Besiktas. Uh, they, they've um, apparently made an offer. Uh, Newcastle have been very quiet on that. Um, but uh, again, um, you know, his contract ends at the end of the uh, season. If Besiktas are offering money for him now, it's a no-brainer to take it because we're not going to get anything for him if we let him go in the summer anyway, unless there is something going on behind the scenes as to awarding him a new contract for what he's done for us this season. It makes no sense for Jamal Asal to accept one now, for an uh, offer to move now from Bissick Tass. Yeah. Because if he, if he leaves in the summer, then he pockets a massive sign-on fee that he wouldn't get if he leaves now. Yeah. Um, because we'd be, getting the, we'd be getting a transfer fee for him. So it doesn't make a lot of sense to the player, in my opinion. It doesn't yeah. make a lot of sense to Pasic has to be putting money in for a player that they can get for nothing in six months. Yeah, but it's, I'm, it's I'm, crazy. I'm kind, of, I'm kind of thinking this one's a bit iffy, if you ask me. Yeah. Uh, NUFC, thank you for joining Members Club. Uh, welcome and thank you for your support. Uh, if you do want to become a member, guys, just click that join button underneath uh, me and Billy Bob. And of course, you can donate to the channel by hitting the super chat button, which is the dollar sign at the bottom of the live comments. And of course, that will get your comment guaranteed to be read out. Um, look, th there's so many. I think, Billy, what we need to expect in the coming, uh, certainly coming days is a lot more rumors going around. Um, you know, again, you have to look at each and every rumour as they come in and assess them to see whether the, you know, these people are legitimate or not. Um, are they just doing it for clicks and likes and, and, and um, you know, clickbait kind of thing? Um, for me, there's a lot of that goes on just with certain YouTube channels, never mind anything else. Um, <laughs> you know, we've talked many times about in the know stuff and people, people kind of reading things or watching things and believing. Um, and I, I, you know, let the club come out and tell us. Yes, we can talk about these things by all means, um, you know. But but actually stating things is is very different uh, to just talking about things that you, you you hear online and things like that. So people have got to be careful, haven't they? Hundred percent. Yeah. Basically, it's, it's a case of waiting until things happen and you see it in front of your very eyes. You can believe it um, because people do, whether they be journalists, whether they be, pretend to be journalists whether YouTube people will do anything for a like or a click, won't they? So yeah. you've got to take it all with a pinch of salt. There are certain ones out there you can kind of rely on most of the time. Yeah. But a lot of them are very, very kind of hit and miss, aren't they? Yeah. And until you see people running <laughs> around with, with, with Newcastle tops on, then you can't really take any, any notice of a lot of them anyway. Yeah, yeah. Um, by the way, just to let you know that uh, Javier Manquillo will be announced as a Celta Vigo player at some point today. Um, of course, reuniting with Rafa Benitez. Um, uh, he made 110 appearances for Newcastle during the six-and-a-half-year period. Uh, it's a good move for Mankio, Billy. Obviously not getting any football now at Newcastle United. Um, I think he came in and I think he improved while he was at Newcastle and did a job for us, which, you know... I've, uh, you know, I send my best wishes and, and, and to him. He, you know, he came to the club and he did a job and um, obviously moved on. Yeah, I was a fan of Mankio. I mean, they never let us down, really, did he? He always gave his utmost kind of effort and determination in his game. Mm. Um, as a right back, though, he's behind four or five players, so there's no there's no future here for him. We can get him off the way as well, get a little fee for him, let him progress his career back in his homeland with his manager that seems to like him an awful lot. Uh, yeah. Rafa, it's it's a win win situation for him, isn't it? I do feel mm. sorry for him because I think he's at times in his Newcastle United career he's kind of been left to cast, the back of the cast aside. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, yeah. and when he's whenever he's played, I think he's he's been really good for us. So. Yeah, I, absolutely. And I, I don't think anyone else can complain, Billy, about him coming in and giving his best because I think you know he he was with us through a very very difficult period. Uh, yeah. Let's be honest, and and he's had to um, he's had to endure a lot of. 
uh, you know, the wrath of the fans, frustration of the fans. But, you know, at a time where the players themselves would have been frustrated under under Mike Ashley with no ambition at the club and everything. Um, so, uh, you know, I'm happy for him because he's 29. Uh, he's got some football left in him. And, of course, um, Rafa will look after him. There's no doubt about that. Um, yeah. Also, um, Ajax have announced the sign of Jordan Henderson. <laughs> so he's not coming to Newcastle, guys. Uh, let's just breathe a sigh of relief for that. Um, now, two, well, one in particular player, Billy, that uh, maybe we've missed out on, I don't know, but that was uh, Sergio Garassi. Uh, his um, his release clause uh, has now ended. Um, it's, yeah. it's, it's run out. Um, but there was no, what got me was, and somebody made a good point yesterday on the video that I did is, is, is basically there was no other offers for him from anybody to, to take him and pay that release clause, which I found very interesting because if, if he is, I mean, we've spoke many times about it being a swan song this season, a purple patch may be, and that seems to be the case because nobody went for him. Yeah, it's very strange, and a lot of clubs are looking for, for strikers, aren't they? I mean, there's, mm -hmm. there's lots of clubs. Arsenal, for instance, are looking for a striker. Surely yep. they'd be interested in a bloke that's knocking in goals yep. week in, week out in, in, in Bundesliga. Nothing from them, nothing from us. I don't think our financial situation helped us. We may have gone in for him had we had a few quid to kind of put towards a, a £15 million release fee. But it's strange that no one else is coming for him. So maybe people are thinking, yeah, this lad's uh, great this year, but next year he could be not been able to chop a bag of cement. So that's how I see it. Yeah, I mean, obviously there's rumours around going about his wages. Uh, his wages were, were, his demands were just unbelievably high and and maybe because of the way he's played this season or the goals he scored, him and his agent maybe think he's more, uh, he's worth more for wages and other clubs weren't prepared to, to meet those demands. It's, it, it, I think there was a general interest from Newcastle United. I generally do, but I think, you know, Obviously, talk has got out about maybe his wage demands or um, bonuses, etc. You don't know what goes on behind the scenes. We, we only see this release clause. We don't know what the player himself is asking for. Well, the reason the, the release clause is there, I guess it's for him to have a higher wage. I mean, he's worth more than 15 million quid on any day, anyone's book. You know, even the, the most basic of strikers in the Premier League are worth yeah. 15 million quid. Yep. So, I mean, you're looking at twice maybe more than twice as much as that he's worth, even for a purple patch striker. He's mm. actually done, he's done the business this season. You know, he's scored a lot of goals. He's up there with Harry Kane. Yeah. So for a low release clause, I think that entitles him to a higher wage. Yeah. I don't think we, yeah. had, the, I don't think we had the money to pay the release clause, even, even so. so. Well, it's interesting, that. isn't it? Because, you know, a player who we're going to talk about next, Calvin Phillips, of course, who um, apparently Man City were asking for a £5 million loan fee and we weren't prepared to meet that. Um, it looks, Billy, as if he's now on his way to West Ham. Um, mm -hmm. For me, it's a massive blow for us because I, I think he would have done brilliantly in that number six role for us. Uh, is he the greatest player in the world? Absolutely not. However, we don't have a number six. And I think he plays that position very, very well. Um, and I think he would have been, certainly for the rest of the season, uh, with a view to buying him, fair enough. But uh, at the minute... Um, you know, it looks like he's on, I mean, West Ham are, are favourites to get him. But it depends if he wants to go down south because the reports are they're saying that he wants to stay north. So mm -hmm. it's a difficult one, but, you know, there's plenty of time left. And I mean, West Ham may be inquired about. That doesn't mean to say that he's uh, he's going. Well, the talk to the day that his agent had been in to see the Man City hierarchy to kind of yep. get his loan fee reduced somewhat. Yeah. Because he wants to go to Newcastle United. Yeah. That's what that's. That's the only move he wants. So if they can do that, and we can kind of give him some, we must have a few quid to spend on a four million pound loan deal. Especially if we get rid of Mankio, for instance. You know, if Mankio's going for two million quid, whatever it is, that's got to go mm. towards a loan fee. You know, there's, there's other players that could be out the door. Um, so surely we can afford a loan fee for Calvin Phillips. I mean, it's surely things ain't that bad yet. Yeah, it's yeah, uh, it 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 really does surprise me. Um, I mean, look, he lives in Weatherby. I do know that, and and Parkmeister's sorry, um, David's just said that in the chat as well. Mm. Um, Weatherby is not a long drive from Newcastle, guys. I mean, it, it no. really isn't. Um, no. You know, it's it's forty minutes down the road. Um, so you know, it, it's it's interesting. It is interesting. Sorry, something just caught my attention there on Twitter. Um, it, it, it's unbelievable how much work you put into a YouTube channel for people just to copy. 
it's really frustrating. You know, you, you put all the work and you, 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 a lot of homework that Alex does and, um, you know, us in the prep work and things like that. And then you see, I mean, we did it, you guys did a show literally two days ago called Let's Talk FFP, didn't you? Yeah, three, two, three days ago, yeah. Indeed. Uh, well, someone's doing another one tonight with the exact same heading. Uh, I mean, I, I, it's so, I just wish people could think of their own content. I really do. Um, Craig Hope is now reporting that there's no uh, official approach from Bayern Munich for Kieran Trippier. Um, Newcastle, uh, well, he's told that uh, the idea of Trippier leaving the club this month will not be entertained. So, interesting. Uh, very interesting. Uh, I, I mean, look, I, I don't expect him to leave. I, I really don't. But I, I think... I think that would change, Billy, if the if the guts if if the the money was you know if it was a hundred percent transfer deal. There you go. Uh, yeah, if, they were, I, if, if the big big I, fee I, came, and I think they'd be they'd be they'd be kind of not pushing him out the door, but you know, I think I, I, I don't think Kieran Trippier turns down a move to Bayern Munich either because he could win the Champions League with him next season. Yeah, you yeah, yeah. That, that's. That's what stands out a mile to me is the fact that you know he could go there and and win another Champions League and to have that on your uh, on your CV is is, is massive um, and it's very interesting that, you know just just reading through sort of people's comments on social media about um, about Kieran Trippi and saying that you know every every player has their price not for a loan deal uh, absolutely not. Um, and, and I think that's what a lot of people are saying. They could understand if there was a transfer fee involved, Billy, but not definitely not a loan deal because that makes no sense for Newcastle no. United. Absolutely not. Makes there's no benefit in it for us, is there, whatsoever? So, uh, if you can't go this season, and like I knew Annie Granny says, if he was to go this season on loan, he couldn't play from the Champions League because he's already played, hasn't he? Yeah, well, well, I'm not, I'm not sure whether the, the does that work for the second part of the Champions League? I think so. I'm not. I'm. I'm. I'm not sure on that. Um, I think you can think... play. In the, I think you can play in Europa League or something like that. But I don't think you play yeah, the same right. twice. It, it may be. Yeah, it may be. Um, uh, apparently, the price being banded around for Kieran Trippier, Billy, is around eight to ten million. Uh, if it was a transfer fee, uh, I just. I mean, eight to ten million pounds plus the the wage off the you know off the wage bill would be interesting. Uh, but I think we need Trippier, Billy. I think we need him for the rest of the season. I think we need his, not just for on the pitch, but what he offers off the pitch as well. You know, these players who will be, um, the younger players who will be under pressure, and certainly the ones that will hopefully come back from injury soon, they'll be under pressure to to, to get the ball rolling for Newcastle this season and move them up the league. And we kind of need his experience. Well, if we were offered a massive fee for him, let's just say 15, 20 million, then you could talk about it. And I said I'd sell him. I would. But try and, try and kind of level that with Bruno or Joe Linton or other players at the club when they see our top players leaving the club. It's not going to go down too well, I wouldn't have thought, especially one with the leadership qualities that Kieran Trippier has got, who's the first one in through the door when the, the, this kind of adventure started, yeah. who's, who's been there all along while Bruno's flourished at the club, um, yeah. been part of the deal, the thing that all the other players coming in and welcoming players into the club, Anthony Gordon for starters, people like that. So he's, it would be a massive loss for, for us, but I mean, the amount of money that they're offering, that's chicken feed for me. It's not worth it. Yeah. I mean, look, you're getting all sorts of... Uh, Paul, you must be bombing to weather because it's an hour and 35 minutes there from the training ground. An hour and 35 to weather be give our man. What are you driving? A tractor? How eh? How eh? <laughs> Um, maybe 40 minutes was a little bit more of a, 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 a maybe let's say an hour. Uh, we'll meet in the middle. Um, I mean, obviously, Isak's come up in conversation as well. Billy saying that, uh, you know, especially Arsenal fans suddenly piping up out the woodwork saying that, uh, Isak would be a good buy this month for them. Of course, as you said earlier, they are after uh, a, a striker. Um, but Isak would cost them, I think, in excess of 120 million. I wouldn't let him go for any less than that. Yeah, I said 120. And Alex kind of said, well, 70 million is what we're going to pay for him with the kind of add-ons. So I'd, I'd want, he'd want twice as much, 140 million. I'd, I'd tend to agree oh. with him. Uh, Arsenal ain't paying that for him. And he's already no. turned them down once to come to us. So, yeah. yeah. 
Um, I think Isak's got a, a got a big future at Newcastle United. Um, but listen, at the same time though, Billy, I don't think we've seen the best of him yet. I thought we saw glimpses last season. I don't think we've seen the very best of Isak yet this season, which is incredible given the goals he scored and given um, you know how he's he's done in certain games. But I think we've still got a lot more to come from him. Hundred percent. He's nowhere near his peak. He's got three, two or three seasons before he reaches his peak. Yeah. Um, when he gets to, I don't know if he's going to be ever going to be the most physical of centre forwards, but the end of striker in the in, in the Premier League that does as much as he does, he's got the skills at his feet. He's fin- he's finishing as good as Haaland's, just doesn't get the chances that Haaland gets. If he, Alex Isak in Man City side scores the goals that Haaland does, I've got no doubt yeah. about that. Yeah. Uh, people say Weatherby to Newcastle. Stephen says Weatherby to Newcastle. One and a half hours by car. Are you driving in reverse? Seriously, I can get the leads in an hour and a half. I mean, I, I, sorry, but, uh, you know, uh, obviously I drive a little bit quicker than than uh, the normal person by the looks of things, but uh, there you go. Um, Callum Wilson uh, will probably still be missing. Um, I think news has come out about that this morning as well. He's definitely missing the Fulham game, Billy. Um, it, you know, as time goes on, I get more and more frustrated with uh, the news on Callum Wilson. Um, hopefully he'll be there for, for the Villa game. Uh, Willock's two to three weeks away. Barnes could be back before Joe Willock, Billy. Um, Jacob Murphy's nearing a return. Anderson's had a scan, uh, which was good, but six weeks before we see him back. Uh, this is all reported from Craig Hope this morning. Um, so Willock not too far away. Barnes could be back before him, but again, you know, Wilson, meh. Um, but it'd be good to have Jacob Murphy back as well, wouldn't it? Yeah, just give, just give him a I want a bit of a rest when we, you know, he's played every game God sends since Murphy's kind of done his shoulder in, apart from the one game where Tino got pushed up there. Um, yeah. And Anthony Gordon certainly needs a rest. So Harvey Barnes being back, we can do a bit of rotation with him and Harvey Barnes. Uh, it's the middle of the part that I'm worried about. Anderson, yeah. and we, we need Willock back. Um, we'll have to find a different man, a different way, of course, because mm. he's not as physical as Joe Litton, nowhere near. But what he offers is his pace and drive, uh, speed. Lots of skills as well. So Joe Willicks have been a massive miss for us. Looking forward to seeing oh. him back on the pitch again. I don't think I don't think I think Joe Willick's absence has been completely underestimated by everybody, Billy. I think 100%. he he is an incredible player. And we've 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 missed him so much. And I think him coming back, um, you know, getting some of these players back, Billy, will just give us a little bit of a, a kick up the arse and, a, and and an opportunity. Uh, to to start getting results again, and it's a good chance for these players to come in and prove how much they are worth to the side. Yeah, hundred percent. You know, we've got a good run of games coming up league wise, um, and we need to be getting up that table to to at least make Europa League, in my opinion. So, the bet the more players coming back through the door, the better the better it is for us. But we're fine defensively. It's just that middle of the park, isn't it? Um, how Gordon and, and Armand have got through. Without getting injured in the past kind of six weeks to, to, to two months, has yeah. been, been amazing, really. And I'm sure Anthony Gordon and Miggy have both played through injuries because at times they haven't looked the usual selves. But yeah, give them give them millions and millions of percent of credit because they actually have been fantastic for us. Because if yeah. they hadn't been available, who are we playing? Matt Ritchie, you know. Mm. And they've got to be careful. We've got to be careful of them coming back as well. We can't rush them back just for the sake of it. Um, so we'll, we'll see what happens in the injuries. Guys, I think I did sort of, you know, 40 minutes is a bit extreme to get the weather be okay. I do, you know, but there's no need. It's 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 it, fair enough. It takes you however long it takes you, right? Traffic could cause an issue, everything. So, uh, it, it, I mean, it's not something I'm going to lose sleep over, guys, uh, how long it takes to get the weather be, uh, you know. Never, never in a month of Sundays is it something you need to worry about. Uh, but that is it for the morning news show. Thank you, everybody, for joining us this morning. Uh, if you have enjoyed it, please do. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up, guys. Um, and of course, uh, if you are new to the channel and you like what you see, do subscribe. Uh, we are on the way to 27,000. We've got nearly 850 watching this morning, which is incredible for a morning news show. Thank you so much, everybody. Uh, do subscribe, uh, hit that notification bell as well. Uh, we do have a show tonight, which is, of course, uh, Face the Lads. Uh, your chance to come on and have your say on everything Newcastle United. Um, you know, get yourself, if you're frustrated or whatever it may be about what's going on at the club at the minute, uh, 
let us know how you're feeling. Um, I'm not sure who's presenting that yet, whether it be me or Billy, but one of us will be. Um, Roy and Jimmy should be on as well with Alex. So uh, there should be a, a great show tonight uh, to talk about everything. Get everything off your chest. See what your opinions are. And uh, obviously, the lads will let you know uh, their opinions as well. Um, and it should be a great show. Uh, but thank you very much. It's 7 o'clock tonight. Uh, that's Face the Lads show, guys. The link should be... Um, I'll put the link in around five minutes before the show starts or just as the show starts uh, so you can all uh, get on and queue up and uh, have your say. It should be a great show. Uh, but in the meantime, uh, Simon Mace is uh, top show chaps. Uh, right, I'm off to weather. We'll be there in five. <laughs> Cheers, Simon. Um, thank you for all your comments about uh, my daughter. It's, it's really kind and it's, it's, it is a family, this channel. It really is. Uh, and uh, you guys are incredible. You really are. Thank you so much. Um, she will uh, to know. She will really appreciate it. Uh, I certainly do. Uh, and this family just goes from strength to strength on this channel. Uh, but thank you very much for watching. And uh, hopefully you'll all be back at 7 o'clock for Face the Lads. Until then, have a great Friday, guys. Take care. See you later, guys. Come back and check on some green.